In today's episode, I'm going to go over four Google Analytics alternatives. Stay tuned. So before we get started, I want to tell you about an exclusive group of entrepreneurs that I'm a part of. Um, go and check the link in the description below. You definitely want to check that out. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, this is Matomo, and Matomo used to be called Piwik. It is an open source platform for analytics, and it's a, a very good Google Analytics alternative, actually. Uh, you get a lot in the free open source uh, version, and we can take a look at what you get over here. So Matomo can actually be hosted on your own. It has to be hosted on your own server if you use the um, open source version. So if you use this, you're on premise. And if you use this, you're the paid version, you're hosting with them uh, in Europe. And so uh, you can actually install this on a subdomain or you can install this with a WordPress plugin. They do have a WordPress plugin for this. Uh, so you have both options and there is a lot of different, um, you know, capabilities if you use the uh, open source version rather than the, you know, cloud version that they, they offer. Um, but there are some limitations as well and you get into that down here. But you get quite a bit with the free version, so... Uh, so it's a very good, uh, you know, option. And the next, uh, analytics software is Quantcast. Now I like Quantcast, uh, right on top of Google analytics. So I run them side by side a lot of times. It really depends on the company. And if you need the, the data that, you know, the, the audience insights that Quantcast provides, but for those companies that do, uh, this is a very good option. So you can just go down to measure and click that and uh, set up your account, install your tracking code. It's a lot like analytics in that way, Google Analytics in that way. And so, uh, yeah, so let's take a look inside of a portal real quick. So this is the inside of one of my client's portals. And I'm obviously not going to tell you who that is, but, uh, but here's the traffic version. I feel the traffic version is kind of limited on this end, but uh, what is very good on this end is kind of really breaking across your demographics and uh, browsing interests. It gives you an idea of, you know, what your audience likes. Uh, and you can kind of go through there and, you know, obviously it'll be different for everybody. And the shopping interests of your visitors. There's quite a few different. I broke these all out so you can kind of see what all there is uh, to choose from. And brand affinity, there's, you know, quite a bit there. And media interests and business and occupation. So, um, again, the traffic, you know, not so, not that impressed with that end of it. Uh, I really like anal analytics better, Google Analytics better for that. But uh, this other stuff is great for, you know, um, getting a better idea of your, your audience. So, another analytics platform you can use, which is WordPress specific, is Visit Analytics. It's $18 on Envato Market on Code Canyon. And uh, this would just be a plugin. You install it. And uh, from what I've looked through it, um, there's not that much. Uh, you know, obviously you can break, you can see different, uh, you know, aspects of your, of your audience. But uh, I would not say this is anywhere near what you get inside of Analytics. And then the final one is Monster Insights. Uh, Monster Insights actually uses Google Analytics, but it takes the data from Google Analytics and displays it in its own layout and inside of your WordPress dashboard. So you just go in, click the Monster Analytics icon, and uh, it will feed in your data. So uh, this is another good option if you really just want something that's, if you like analytics, but you just want to, you know, look at your data Um you know, inside of it, inside of your WordPress platform, and there's uh, different ways to break out your data. Um, they also have free and paid versions. Um, there are some limitations, but you get uh, quite a bit in the free version as well. So uh, check that out, and you can go over and get that on WordPress.org. So I will put a link to all of these in the description. Be sure to go and check those out. Hey, before you go, make sure you check that link in the description below for that elite entrepreneur group that I told you about at the beginning of the video. You do not want to miss that. Go check it out.